but by then, yeah, like got to do research. And I remember I got a text from Mike. Uh, like he sent the scripts to me quite early, but he sent me a text three months or two months before filming. And it was, um, I have a meeting with someone for a role and it was Mark Hamill. <laughs> and, and obviously he knew how I would react to that. And, <laughs> But the deal wasn't done. He hadn't even had the meeting yet, but Mark was a fan of mass, I believe, and, and, and whatever. And, um, and then a couple of months later, um, and then he sent me that, that night he, after his meeting, he sent me a selfie with Mark and then, um, yeah, I, when all the paperwork went through and it was announced, it was, it was nuts. And then, yeah, I got to spend some time with Mark, um, filming and became friends with Mark Hamill, which, so it's been a very strange year. You seem to be playing it very cool. I mean, I, I know from our previous conversations, you're a mm. huge Star Wars fan. Had you met Mark Hamill before? Yeah, what but was Mark, like wasn't, Mark wasn't in Attack of the Clones, so I didn't care that much. <laughs> 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 um, okay. we, we're not going to do this dance again. No, actually, no, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not. No, you, you, did, you did kind of convince me last time we spoke to, to revisit the, the prequels, and I did do that, and my point still stands. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to happen. Um, no, I, I hadn't met Mark before. I talked, no, um, it was a very strange day because I was working that day and, um, like, I felt like Mike and Trevor Macy, our producer, and, and everyone, they, they, they would come up to me and even our, our makeup, like Krista and uh, everyone I had a, a contact with from arriving on set to 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 meeting mark would go have you met him yet have you met him? <laughs> and so like I, I got to this like weird teenager thing where i was like no fuck off i've got work to do yeah I, was like, I don't care but i knew that everyone was like and then i felt this pressure that i had to like overreact almost because like it'd been hyped up so then i was like what do i do do i just sort of say all right mark how you doing nice to meet you and then just leave it um and then when I was brought on, even though I, like our AD uh, at the time, I think Morgan was our AD, everyone was around us in this like weird semicircle. So do you know what I mean? Like all these pressures on and, and I was like, do I cry? And then I knew I could see Mike was like, had a phone out. And then I was so in my head and then Mark looks up and he goes, oh, there's the Star Wars fan. Before I'd even said hello. And it just disarmed me straight away. And then we we had a, a quick chat and then, um, yeah, and then we had a, a proper long chat that day. And I, it was just super sweet. He said something to me that will stay with me forever. Because he asked me, like, you know, about my journey. And and I was like, why did why did you become an actor? Were your parents in the business? And, and I was like, no, I this isn't bullshit, but. Um, my dad bought me the special editions in 1997 and on VHS and after binging him, I like the same story I told you, I, 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 I was like, oh, I need to be in this industry. And then through that became an actor trying to be in Star Wars. And Mark said something along the lines of like, well, I'm glad we made something that inspired you to become an actor because you're fantastic or something along those lines. And I just wow. was like. And then I, I, I went home that night. We rapped like quite late and I was in the car and I, I uh, called my mum on the speakerphone and told her how the day went and uh, told her he said that and she started to cry. And then I kind of got a bit emotional too, cause yeah, it's the truth. So like, it's not like I'm, I make more of it than it was. It's it, my parents know that obviously they, and they know how much that meant to me. But he's incredible. He's one of the exceptions to the rule of never meet your heroes. Um, mm. uh, he's so much time and he'll talk to you about Empire Strikes Back if you want, or, you know, working with Kevin Conroy and how the Joker happened and he'll even do bits from it. It's like, it's so awesome. Um, and it's, it's a real like check as well. You know, like you think you're, jaded or you think that you're recognizable or you're tired of talking about what the brains are made of from my zombie or something and mark hamill is 
Mark Hamill is, is, is experiencing something that very few people on the planet experience. He's, he is Mickey Mouse and Coca-Cola and he's Luke Skywalker and every single person on set, even in his safe place in his work are still like regressing into teenagers when they see him, you could see grips and, and everyone's like, all right. Like you have that effect and he, and he carries it with such class and, uh, just briefly, I had a scene completely on my own in the middle of town at three in the morning. It was a night shoot. And, um, I got a call from Mike's assistant, Alex, and, and she was, uh, this is a few hours before I went to set and she was like, Hey, uh, is it cool if Mark comes along? Uh, and I was like, uh, yeah. Um, and I, I like at like 11 o'clock at night, uh, it was just, like I said, it was just me on set. Uh, sorry, it was me on location. Mark showed up with his daughter, Chelsea, and, and, and his dogs in a little beanie at 11 o'clock at night and stayed with me in the green room for three hours just to talk. Wow. Just to, like, yeah, just to, like, ask about my folks and have a chat and see what was going on on the monitors. And, yeah, um, that's the type of dude he is. He just made time for it, and he did that for a few people. Yeah. That's incredible. It was an awesome experience. Wow. That is that is a things to achieve in life box certainly ticked for you. Oh yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the fact that we like became sort of mates was the cherry on top because even if it was just that, and then you know, but then the fact that we both, you know, he's got a wicked sense of humour, and um, I even bought him. Uh, we're not allowed to post the pictures because we're in costume, unfortunately. But I, um, I, I, I know that he likes Liverpool. The city's a big Beatles fan and he, he identifies as a Liverpool supporter just because of the city. So I bought oh, him a God. Liverpool shirt with yeah, Hamill on the back. This yeah. is amazing. <laughs> so there's a picture of us holding his, his new Liverpool shirt. Um, but we can't post it because we're both in fucking costume. So this, the kit's going to be out of season by the time we're allowed to share it. <laughs> yeah. 